everyone. We are back with another video on the data cleaning series using Excel. Today's topic is how to identify inconsistency. The first way to identify an inconsistent data is manually. But the drawback is that it is time consuming and error prone. The other way is using tools. Let's see how we can identify inconsistency using tools. The first way is data validation. We'll have to set a criteria for the values and then circle invalid data. So let's look at a data set and see how data validation will work on that. Say we have a HR data and we have a column of salary and we want to find salaries in the range of five to 50,000 and discard all other salaries. So we select the column, go to the data tab, and there's an option of data validation. We click on it, and as soon as we click on it, what we'll see is a pop-up of data validation, which has settings, and it will allow values. Say we want whole numbers. So the data should be in the range of 5,000 to say 50,000. We click on OK. And the next thing that we are going to see is all the invalid data is going to be circled. So clicking on the data validation, we'll have another option of circle invalid data. We will click on that and see all the data which are not in the range of 5,000 to 50,000 in the column of salary are circled. Now, how to clear these circles? is we'll go back to the data validation and in the drop down we'll see clear validation circles so it will clear the circles so this is how data validation will help us to identify inconsistency the next way is to sort now go back to the data and say we have four numbers these four numbers can have text as well now how to see that? So we have used the filter and we click on the drop down and say we want to sort them according to largest to smallest. So what we'll see is that the text will come before the number. So let me just highlight. So we can see that the phone number is containing text. So this is the way we can find the inconsistent data from column. Now, the third way is filter. In filter, what we'll see is the box in the dropdown. So for that, let's go to another data having region. We can see there are several region, but there can be few region with uh, which are having inconsistent data, that is wrong spellings. So what we'll do is we'll deselect all and select only those regions that have incorrect spellings. So we select on each and SDH, click OK. And here we see that these are the regions with wrong spellings. So what we can do is we can change the spelling. And once we remove filter, now we see that the incorrect spellings have been removed. Now we select all, click OK, and see a very consistent data. So that's all how we can deal with data inconsistency. Thanks for learning. Hope this video was helpful. Keep tuned to Ivy's YouTube channel for more such videos on the data cleaning series. Thank you.